Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm gonna test how the defense turret on the Polaris reacts to A1 and A2 bombs. So let's start with the A1 bomb first. Okay, I'm gonna be testing on my alt account Polaris, and I made sure that uh, Skywalker's Polaris has uh, SEM mode on and full power to weapon. Now I'm gonna bomb it. Drop bomb! Wow, it's really slow. I think the gravity on this moon is really small. Is it going to the Polaris? No, that's someone else's ship. Oh! Bomb launched. Okay, think this is going to the Polaris. Oh, it's not reacting. It's not reacting at all. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Bomb dropped. Will be two bombs this time. It's one, two. Oh! Well, since the defense turret is not going to shoot down the bombs, let's just test how many A1 bombs can destroy the Polaris. Oh! Another one. Another one. Okay, drop two more bombs. Drop. One, two. Oh, it's very close. Very, very close. <laughs> Another one. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna drop three more. Two, three. Oh! Drop! Oh! It didn't hit directly. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Too bad it didn't really hit the Polaris directly. But the Polaris system is down. The ship is already disabled. But I want to destroy it. Okay, let's go rearm. Get out of the pad. Get out of the pad. Okay, rearmed. Let's go at it again. Dropping four bombs. Drop. Two, three, four. Oh, engines knocked out. Oh, poor Polaris. Oh, very close. This one's very, very close. My goodness. Drop four more. Oh, it's a little bit off, these bombs. Oh, that one is close. Oh, it... Oh, very close. Player is still alive. Oh. Launch the bomb. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's close. Bomb dropped. Oh, hit it! Direct hit! Whoa! <laughs> Bomb dropped really close this time. Oh! 
You know what? The Polaris is a very good ship for bomb dropping practice. Oh, this is too close! Too close! Too close! Target destroyed! South Death to Polaris. I don't know, maybe 20 bombs I dropped? I lost count, but you need a lot of A1 bombs to destroy a Polaris. And you also must hit. Drop! Boost away. Oh! Destroy the Polaris! Oh, that's destroyed. That's explosion. Yeah, the explosion on the Polaris is a little bit lackluster. Two pieces. Good for salvage now. All right, now the A2 bombs. Let's go drop the first one. Bomb dropped, bomb dropped. Run, run, run. Oh, missed. Now I see they changed the whole keybind for the bombs. No wonder earlier it's really difficult to target. So it's Alt B. I'm gonna just do okay and then increase HUD range. Decrease HUD range. Okay, let's check this out. Hold R. Oh, there we go. So this is how you do it. So set those keybinds and set desired impact area. You can say that. And then score mouse wheel is to increase HUD or decrease HUD. Oh, desired range, in range, drop! Where's the bomb? Oh, it's missed again! In range, drop! Bombs away! Oh! Nope, it still didn't hit the target. Yeah, the bomb dropping mechanic is not very user-friendly. I'm gonna do a dive. Dropped. Get out here. Get out here. Get out here. Run, run, run. Oh! That one hit. Oh my gosh. Let me check the status. Oh. One bomb, one A2 bomb hit, my systems all shut down. And by the way, this video is supposed to test the point defense turrets on the Polaris, whether they are effective against bombs. Now we know it's not effective against bombs. The reason being is, uh, I think of bombs, the mechanics for the bomb is uh, dropping by gravity. So the signature is almost minimum. So no EM, no IR, and minimum cross-section signature because the bomb is so small for the torpedoes because they have the boosters and everything so the IR is quite high that's why the torpedoes or missiles the point defense turret can target and shoot them down on target drop go 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 oh oh still missed A little bit over a little bit. Drop the bomb. Boost away. Oh, it's close, but still miss. Oh. Okay, this time I'm going to bring that red circle over the ship a little bit more. Red circle over the ship a little bit more. Drop the bomb. Boost away. Oh, that's a beautiful hit. Still misses though. Still misses big time. I'm gonna get right circle even like this. Way over the target and drop the bomb. And then boost away. Oh. That's beautiful though, but still misses the target. It's really difficult to drop the A2 bomb on target. Oh, this one's close. This one's close. Oh! 
Engine! Engine all destroyed! Dropped another one. Oh, this one is really close. This one is close. This one is really close. Oh, destroyed! Destroyed! Whoa! <laughs> That is just beautiful. Star Citizen signs turn into Star Citizen art. So the E2 bomb, I think uh, two or three direct hits. Destroy it. Oh, we got a lot of spectators. <laughs> All right, a little extra test for this video is I'm going to shoot size nine torpedoes at a landed Polaris. Now let's see how the defense turret will react to that. First torpedo, away oh shooting oh torpedo got destroyed fire two torpedoes this time one two pdc is shooting oh hit one hit two both torpedoes made it through i think uh, two torpedoes confused the polaris and both size nines made it through so two size nine hit okay Arming three torpedoes at the same time. I think the size 9 torpedo range has been shortened. I can target lock at uh, two point. Uh, let me see what exact range this is. Oh wow, the Argos torpedo range is uh, 1.8 kilometers. Fire three. One, two, three. Tracking. Three torpedoes coming over. Point defense is shooting. Missed. Hit one. Hit two. Hit three. Okay, fire three. One, two, three. Tracking. It's shooting. Oh! Shot down one. Shot down two. Oh, last one hit. So shot down two torpedoes. Hit one. Now six size nine torpedo hit. Let me check the... Yeah. Oh wow, the torpedo hit does not disable the ship, but the A1 and A2 bombs hit will disable the ship. So my ship is still okay, I can still turn engines on. Let me see if I can fly. Yeah, I still can fly the ship. That's good to know. Okay, fire three. One, two, three. Let's go. Ooh. Point of oh, destroy one. Oh, another one hit. Oh, completely destroyed. The Ooh, seven size nine torpedoes. Soft death, the Polaris, an ace torpedo. Just destroyed it. And also salvaged it, I think, because it disappeared. Just uh, a fireball left. Oh. Now, my Eclipse can fit inside the Polaris. 